Hi guys and welcome to this edition of Fireflies Video Digest. As always, thank you very much for watching. It's been a while since I last did a full-blown out-and-out Battlefield Digest. So, I sat back a few days ago and thought to myself, at which point did I lose interest in the franchise? To put this into perspective, when I play a game, I generally play it for many years. From about 1997 through to about 2004, I played the Mech Warrior franchise. And from about 2006 to roughly two months ago, it was the Battlefield franchise. So it was an interesting exercise to look back and think, what was it, at which point did I turn around and say, that's enough, the franchise is not for me anymore. I'll play it from time to time, but it's not going to be my principal game. So this is kind of a, a personal journey, but I think something that perhaps a lot of you have also gone on yourself. Now the obvious culprit would be the game itself. And let's be frank, if you played the older Battlefields, you'll understand that Battlefield 3 is a bastardised abomination of what the older Battlefield games were. DICE stripped out the team play aspects and a lot of the other aspects which made it strategically and tactically interesting simply to widen the player base. Now please understand, I haven't got a problem with a company trying to widen its player base because it needs the extra revenue to be able to build Frostbite 2 and other uh, aspects of the game. I'm fine with broadening the player base. I'm just not fine with dumbing down the game. So instead of being called Battlefield 3, it should be called Generic Shooter 957. But it's not the game itself that's turned me completely against DICE and EA. Battlefield 3, when you play it without remembering the older Battlefields, is actually a fun game. You still have relatively large battlefields. You still got vehicles and aircraft and you still got 64 players. You even have prone. So the game itself when you strip away the battlefield aspects is fun. I still play it. I'm still in Battlefield 3 tournament and there's still other tournaments like Global Conflict which uh, are still being played every week. Now I'm going to take a small aside at this point just to go off topic for a second and just say this. I received one of the nicest messages I've ever received from the guys at Global Conflict a few days ago via YouTube as a way of saying thank you for something I'd help them with. So I just want to say guys, you're a fellow community, anytime I can help, just ask me whatever it is. Uh, to you players out there, if you are looking for a tournament which is, which is something that makes the Battlefield 3 game closer to what the proper Battlefield games were like, check out Global Conflict. Also check out Battlefield 3 tournaments. I'll put the links to the pair of them in the description of the video. Just click on them, go take a look. So it's not the game itself that's necessarily turned me completely against it, but you have to understand that the game is not a Battlefield game. It is a generic military shooter. So if it wasn't the game, was it Battlefield Premium? Well, this is another thing which I find interesting. I don't have an issue with the idea of Battlefield Premium. If you've got five lots of DLC and you can make a saving by purchasing them, rock on. My problem with Premium is that Battlefield 3 itself is not a Battlefield game. Now, please understand, if Battlefield 3 had been the game it should have been, which was something building on the earlier Battlefields with the Frostbite 2 engine, you can make it so that it goes for a wider audience while still keeping vets like myself happy, I would have happily paid $50 for a premium. Even though I don't know what the coming uh, DLC is going to be, and even though one of them is CQ, I would still have paid the money because I would have been supporting a developer who has provided me with an excellent game. DICE haven't done that. Battlefield 3, as I mentioned, is not a successor to Battlefield 2. I'm not happy with the way that DLC is going anyway, so I saw no reason to go ahead and buy premium. In fact, you may remember a few weeks ago, I gave away a Battlefield premium key. That key was actually given to me for my own personal use. I didn't want to use it because I wasn't happy with Battlefield 3, so I turned around to DICE and said, do you mind if I use that for a competition? Thankfully, and thank you, they said yes. That's where that key came from. So to come back to the point, I have no fundamental issue with premium. 
I have a fundamental issue with the way that Battlefield 3 and DICE have developed. Okay, so if it's not the game itself, and it's not something like Premium or the DLC, then what has actually made me lose that Battlefield feeling? It's actually two different things. And funnily enough, the first one of those is this digest, or these digests. As I've been doing these digests, and certainly over about the last 20 digests or so, I've had the pleasure of observing, and in some cases working with, developers from other companies and other games. Specifically ones like Ravaged uh, from Two Dome. But also, more recently, you've had MetWarrior Online, which I got into the beta of that last week, and Shoot Mania. I also got into the beta of that last week as well. And in fact, if you look on my channel now, you'll see a little bit of uh, initial gameplay from that game. Also older ones such as Firefall, which is actually quite an interesting game. So I've had the opportunity to be able to watch these devs in action, in some cases interact with these devs, and see the level of communication and the level that they work with their communities and customers. In other words, you and me. And I've contrasted that with DICE and how they work. Now I'm going to give you a fairly explicit example of DICE and how they, or how they don't work, to be more exact. You may remember a few digests ago, I was asked to collect information and feedback from the community, from us, and pass it on to Zinto. Now, if you looked at the documents I submitted, one was quite an in-depth Word document. The other one was an Excel sheet which contained a lot of feedback from the community. That was passed to Zinto. Now, I know through the posts that he's made that Zinto has passed that up the line to his bosses and to the people who can take action on this feedback. I also know that had Zinto received some comments or uh, feedback from those people, he'd have passed it on to us. So I know that Daniel's done his job, but I also know that the people above Daniel have not. In fact, the community feedback that you guys put forward and I collated and passed on to Daniel has had nothing done with it above Zinto. That, my friends, is how DICE treats its customers. Uh, it's rude, and you could even call it reprehensible. That is not how you treat customers. It is, uh, in fact, it's a, a recipe for turning people off. So when I contrast how DICE treats us, and how other developers treat the customers, us, players, uh, DICE doesn't come out too well. But I think the stroll that brought the camels back was a press release that was put out in March. Now, if you're a member of Mordor HQ, you will know that I was searching for this all day yesterday. And in fact, this is the reason why this digest came out today and not yesterday, because I was searching for this document. And effectively what it said is, Battlefield Premium is for players who are uh, devoted to Battlefield 3, to the franchise. Players who are committed to the franchise. Now initially when I read that a few months ago, that really got my goat. Because I sat there thinking, hold on a second, I bought Battlefield 3, I bought uh, Bad Company 2, Bad Company 2 Vietnam, Battlefield 2142, Northern Strike, Battlefield 2, Special Forces, 1942. I bought all of these games, I spent my own money on servers, so I spent probably close on a thousand euros over the years on the Battlefield series, and yet so far as DICE is concerned, the only people who are committed to the series are the ones who purchased their latest DLC. Way to go guys. That was a very bad message to put out and that was I think the final straw for me personally when I finally realized, hold on a minute, this isn't the old dice. These are just money grabbing, cash, uh, cash cow demanding, that really sounded horrible didn't it? people who are just looking for the money. They're not looking for the game, they're not looking for the customers, which are the important things. They're just there for the money. Now, looking back uh, at the earlier battlefields, you know, let's, let's not kid ourselves. Those games weren't perfect. Anyone that tried to patch 2142 to patch 1.5 knows that it was a freaking pain in the ass. Uh, same for BF2 as well. BF1942 when it first came out practically didn't work for the first three months. So there are areas where dice have improved, but the mentality seems to be 
rather than let's make the best game we can and work with the community as much as we can to let's just get the money. And that's not really something I want to be associated with. So as I said, the final straw that I think where I lost that battlefield feeling was very simply that press release. Now, the only thing that can possibly redeem them, in my eyes, is Ormond Kill. Now if Ormond Kill comes out with just a few maps and vehicles, well, yeah, not interested, bye bye. If it comes out with some of the things that's missing, Commander Roll, for example, something basic like Battle Recorder and Spectate, both of those are things that should be in a AAA title in 2011, 2012. These aren't things that are uh, unusual, they're things that should be in there, they're standard. Even Squad Fort should be in, but if, if Armored Kill comes out with some of those things, then yes, Battlefield 3 may be able to start redeeming itself. If it doesn't, then it's probably the end of the line. Now if you're a player who's joined the franchise from BF3 or BC2, you're probably sat there thinking, hey, look, what are you on about? Seriously? And I appreciate that you don't understand what's missing. So, if you get the chance, please look back at some of the older Battlefield videos. If you really want a quick intro, have a look at a digest I did a while ago titled How Dice Didn't Nail Team Play in Battlefield 3. Take a look at that and you'll get an idea of uh, what's been missing. If you're an older Battlefield gamer and you sat there nodding your head probably saying, yeah, you know, Battlefield 3 itself is not a bad game, it's just not a Battlefield game. Uh, and the way that DICE have been communicating with us is, well, it's it's awful, it's practically non-existent. And on top of that, we have a community manager, Zinto, who doesn't even have uh, the backing of his own company to do his job, because if he did have the backing of his own company, they'd be providing him with the feedback and the answers to the questions that we provided to him. You're sat there thinking, yeah, I'm with you, I am completely with you. Well. Don't despair, there are other games out there. Uh, Planet Side 2 specifically, I think, is going to be the one which pulls away a lot of the older Battlefield players. I know a lot of guys over at MordorHQ.com are looking at that and thinking, yes, uh, of which I'm one of them. So I think that game is hopefully going to be great. If it ends up being half the game which it, uh, which it promises to be, that's what I'll be playing. But there's also other games as well, as I mentioned. If you are a mech head, if you played Mech Warrior in the past, Check out nwomerch.com or nwonline.com. Uh, that's a cracking game. There's Met Warrior Tactics coming out in the future as well. There's Ravaged, which I think is could be a bit of a sleeper. That one is slowly starting to gain some marketing traction. I do think, uh, to Dawn, I do honestly think you guys need to do a bit more in terms of your marketing and reaching out. Uh, you've done well in terms of giving keys away and getting people interested, but possibly a bit more proactiveness there. Uh, and then you got Shoot Mania, which is, <laughs> there's, as I said, there's some uh, footage of that up on my site now. Take a look at it. Very interesting game. I'll have a lot more footage for that in the future. Well, that's it. It's, uh, yeah, that's the first uh, video digest for about a month I've done, which is concentrated on Battlefield. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, not sure what we're doing next weekend, but we'll wait and see. It could be Shoot Mania, it could be back on Battlefield. We'll just have to see. If you've liked this video, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it on YouTube. And if you've really enjoyed the video, please subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, at Firefly and then the number two. And you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Firefly. That's it for now. Enjoy your gaming. Take care.